Today we're going to be taking a look at the New World Faction gear, why this could be a possible starting set and how it could make the difference early in PvP in the first few days. Let's talk about early gear score. Uh, war is going to be tough, like, you know, the answer is you're not going it, to, it's going to be hard to get picked in war if you don't buy the expansion. Yeah, and just to reiterate, there's no scaling in open world PvP or war, but there it will be scaling in Outpost Rush. So and I know arenas. it's and arenas, and I know it's a favorite mode for a lot of our players. So you can get in there and be, you know, somewhat competitive. But like Scott said, this is something where if you really want to still be competitive on top of the leaderboards. Knowing there is no scaling, let's take Mikro's Bis Armor perks looking at the faction gear on how we can set up early. Straight out the bat, we're looking at 675 gear score but con attributes. We have the S tier in health, we have the B tier in enchanted. Then we also have refreshing which can be really nice depending on your builds and useful while we do farm for our better gear. We know that Enchanted is a tough perk to craft as so far the crafting mod only drops from armoring parcel materials so nice to have while we're still building and experimenting. The total costs 77,750 faction tokens and 23,000 gold which is not too bad considering a too decent perk. The faction gear would be a guaranteed knowing it would take X amount of hours and you could definitely have the gear which you could then try to build around to get your BIS or your craft BIS set around. I know for me personally, this is the current plan for me and some good crews to set up as a base. Again, this could all change day one once we work out if anything is different once live. You could then very easily slot in the artifact like the tumbler shoes potentially from the season three pass track. And by this time, you probably found your artifact weapon from day one. If you haven't got your artifact, then you may want to try and look at the faction gear weapons also as a base, but I think most will go for the artifact weapon early. With the faction gear sets, we could be in a good position for wars if it happens, open world PvP, and you can begin to farm the PvP track and complete your builds around a fair base. Even if you don't want the refreshing, it's still better than a 2 perk as it's helpful but you are over with the 4 refreshing perk cap here. So will you be farming your bis gear first, or will you go for the faction gear and build around that in the first few days? Let me know in the comments, or maybe have a completely different approach. Would love to hear your thoughts and ideas. If you liked the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, or you can catch me live on Twitch. I will catch you in the next one.